Hello Pisces, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for February 2023. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, my God's universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aquariuses? For the middle of February 2023, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground? They feel closer to universe and closer to divine. Any messages would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see? What does Pisces need to know? For the middle of February 2023, thank you for the two cards that you have provided. Can you please provide me the two additional cards? Um, make sure that you click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there specifically. In my playlist, your 2023 Sun Moon predictions. Your 2022s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then finally, look me up on Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below. Um, in support of my efforts, always appreciated. So we start off with a knight. Let me look at everything here. We have the knight of pentacles in the upright for energies to expect in the middle of February. We have a six of pentacles in reverse in a challenge position. We have the hanged man in reversed for advice. And then we have the emperor card in the upright. So believe it or not, Pisces, I think that this is relevant to career. Um, I mean, you can interpret it however you'd like to, but what I'm I'm strongly getting is this, this is career focus or something that has to do with um, you practically kind of making your way forward in the world. The reason why I'm getting that feeling is the Knight of Pentacles in the upright is you kind of observing some sort of strategy on how you're going to move forward. You're being very careful about it. You're laying out some sort of plan and figuring out what your blueprint is going to be. You're very willing to work hard, um, but you also want to make sure that whatever it is that you're getting into or whatever your goal is, that it's airtight. So it's almost unsinkable, that it's a you know almost a guaranteed thing, even though um, nothing is a guarantee. But at least, the at the very least, what you're trying to do is minimize risk to yourself. So you're kind of hammering everything out, not being in a big rush, um, you know, taking everything, marinating over it, studying it, observing it, looking at it from different angles to know exactly what you're getting into and how you're going to proceed. So I really like seeing that being a Capricorn myself. Um, in the challenge position, we had the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So uh, the reason why I believe that this is a practical thing, other than the fact we have two Pentacles here, um, is that the challenge is you might not, uh, in the present position that you're in, you don't really feel like you're getting compensated for what you do. So whatever it is you do, even if it's for an organization or, um, you know, whatever capacity it is, you sort of feel like you're putting in a lot of uh, work in, but you don't necessarily um, get what you're supposed to be getting back. There is not an equal give and take. You aren't being um, compensated for everything that you do. Um, and this is troublesome to you. It could also be that, uh, for instance, maybe you're getting a promise of something and it never happens. So they're kind of stringing you along maybe with a promotion or, um, you know, a raise or a bonus of some sort, and it never really comes about or it it has uh, conditions associated with it. You know, well, we'll give it to you, but we can't give it to you until, you know, we see a surge in profit or something like that. So I see you're kind of losing patience. Um, and it is a challenge because you should get, you know, paid what you're worth. People should respect you enough to give you what you deserve. If it isn't in terms of money, then it's just in a practical sense. So you should practically get or receive, um, you know, uh, whatever for your efforts, right? So I feel like that's what the challenge is, trying to procure that or trying to get that. You know, the hangman in reverse is sort of saying, um, you know what, draw a line in the sand. Um, say to whoever this person, whoever this entity is, um, kind of, this is what I want, this is how I want it. Um, if I don't get it by this, uh, this, um, this point in time, um, I'll, I'll hang around for a little while, I'll put off my decision for a little while, but if, if you don't meet my terms or you don't meet my demands, then I, I'm not going to compromise. Um, hold strong in your stance and what you want and be prepared to walk out the door if you don't get it or leave if you don't get it. So that's the advice I feel like um, you're getting with that. But I do think, uh, I do also get the sense, make sure that whatever you're kind of demanding or whatever you want is reasonable, that is within their means, their actual means. Don't, you know, set these larger than life or set this larger than life bar that is simply unattainable. Um, you know, if they can't do it, obviously you can't get blood from a stone. 
Um, as you move forward, I feel like you're getting what you want, whether it's someplace else or whether it's where you're at. We have the Emperor card in the upright. I mean, the Emperor card in the upright is somebody who um, is the boss guy. So uh, right off the bat, that indicates to me of you getting that promotion, that raise, that bonus um, elevated somehow. Uh, but I'm also getting that you're getting the respect that you've always wanted. Uh, I think they, uh, the person or the entity is realizing you have set up boundaries, you have set up your own rules, uh, you expect them to respect it, and, I, and I think it's going to actually happen. So if you've been the kind of person that's uh, uh, been letting um, people pull, push back the goalposts, um, I see you kind of putting your foot down in the middle of February and saying, hey, this is how it's going to be. I can see how this is relevant to a relationship, but I do feel it's something um, of a practical matter. It could be something of a practical matter as it relates to a personal relationship, so or a romantic relationship or an ex-romantic relationship. So let's say, for instance, you're going through a divorce and um, you guys are discussing assets you know um, it could be the other person trying to make things work out in their advantage and you coming up with a plan and saying no I'm not gonna put up with that this is what I deserve and you're gonna give it to me so good for you guys so let's see what the clarifiers are why is the Knight of Pentacles here in the upright for Pisces who's this person what's this energy we have the three of wands in the reverse we have the ace of cups in the reverse Okay, and we have the uh, Ten of Wands in the reverse. So I, I'm almost getting the sense that previously um, you've had options or avenues kind of taken away from you. You have wanted to get someplace in regards to this, but again, it's been pushed off or there were setbacks or someone said, now isn't the right time, it's been delayed. You know, So I kind of sense that frustration. You want something larger, but for some reason it was taken off the table. Whenever you try to talk about it, um, there's a problem uh, kind of getting across to the other other person or the other side of things and so that they absolutely um, know what you want. So I could see that it was problematic. I see that there was disappointment in that. Um, I feel as there were many times you kind of got your hopes up and then the rug got pulled out from under you and you were very saddened, you were very upset, you were very disappointed um, by the outcome or that things didn't come to fruition as you had planned for them to come. It also it might have affected your self-belief a little bit um, because of this because you're like wow you know what I don't deserve this you don't think enough of me um so with the ten of wands in reverse i see you kind of uh, you know being like i deserve better and i know i deserve better just because you're offering me crap doesn't mean i need to take it um i can always say no thank you and i can shoot for something higher so i do see you're kind of getting your wits about you in, in regards to this why is the six of pentacles in reverse in the challenge position Who's this person? What's this energy? And you're, you're getting very hurt. You're getting very upset and very emotional um, by how you're not being respected, how there isn't that... Um, how there isn't that reciprocity you aren't seen as an equal and it really is starting to bother you um an emotional standpoint so that is the real challenge with the justice card in the upright which is the card of a libra and that's also the card when it when it falls in the challenge position you are not getting your justice you are not dream, being treated fairly um decisions are being made that are not moral decisions they're not ethical decisions so obviously that's the challenge in itself and a positive outcome doesn't come about as a um as a result um, additional message for the six of pentacles in reverse um, and you get um, told a lot of stuff um, just to be sold on something so I feel like somebody's really kind of um, you know saying whatever they need to say to convince you of something but they're not really kind of being honest um, they'll tell you things you know you're gonna get this you're gonna get that if you just wait um, but the challenge is you're not seeing anything kind of happening uh, for those things to kind of um, fall into place and a lot of times too with the knight of swords the reverse shows up I must feel like it's that type of person that when you try to call them out on that they have a million and one excuses or they'll just play dumb and say oh did I say that I don't remember saying that and they'll just deny you know being even involved with it at all so um definitely backpedaling kind of going on and I think that's adding to your frustration why is the hangman card here in reverse who's this person what's this energy okay with the judgment card in the upright it's a really good card there additional messages for the hangman I'm sorry hangman in reverse um Okay, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Sun card in reverse, and the Judgment card in the upright. So with this, they're, they're, they're saying, you know, 
definitely draw that line in the sand because you haven't been happy. Things have been really great, but there's this one piece that you're not getting and that's causing you to really kind of feel down about things. So it's almost like you can't throw your entire heart into this um, because, or you can't find positivity in what you're doing because, you know, you um, feel like you're not thought of very highly to be given what you're supposed to kind of get. Um, and they're also saying that, you know, everything that you've done to this point has been just hammering away at stuff, trying to move forward, trying to make things happen, and you haven't had any progress. Um, you haven't had any kind of forward movement. Things haven't been happening because the people that you're dealing with are very um, stuck the way that they think about things. So they're, they're just kind of like, this is the way it's going to be. That's the way they have in their mind. And they're not really open to other ways of doing things. I don't know if uh, it's because they're very traditional or their hands are tied or something like that. But I, I do feel like there's wiggle room that they just aren't entertaining. So Judgment card here is kind of saying, look at the whole situation for what it is. Look at the actual situation. Take everything into account with eyes wide open. So, you know, don't let anybody move you this way or that way or kind of um, take you off track or talk you out of something. Um, look at the situation for what it is. Assess it for what it actually is. Size everything up. Um, you know, and make a decision. And once you kind of make that decision, which you're actually making uh, with the hangman in reverse, um, once you kind of decide what that is, say to yourself, that's it. Um, this is what I'm going to do. Um, this is a major choice in my life. This is how I'm going to move forward. Um, this is what I'm deserving of. Um, and you, whether or not it works out, um, you're going to not have any regrets. You're going to know that you stood up for yourself and what um, you had, you wanted. Um, why is the Emperor card here, the upright for Pisces moving forward? Who's this person? What's this energy? So we have the world card in the upright indicating that you do get what you want. Everything comes like a um, full circle. So um, everything that you've wanted, I feel like your demands kind of get met. Um, it, actually, there's two sides of the story. Either your demands get met and you finally feel whole again. So that piece was missing, um, actually completes you. You feel like you achieved something and you feel like you got where you wanted to be. Um, the other thing is that you can decide, hey, they didn't meet my demands. I respect myself too much. I'm going to show them that I respect myself and you end up leaving. Um, you go to something else and you're ready for that next level. So you're ready to embrace that challenge and um, take on new achievements that maybe this uh, present position um, didn't offer you. And it's actually going to be a better experience for you as you move forward if you do move on to something else. But I honestly, I feel like they, whoever they are, they meet your demands because now we have the King of Pentacles in the upright, was which is a card of security, not sex, success, wealth, um, a promotion actually, um, having some money coming to you. So I feel like your demands are met. Um, for um, a lot of you, I would push for that promotion or raise um, in the middle of February. If it's been on the back burner for you and you've kind of been thinking, oh, I don't know if I should, you know, I, I would go ahead and do it. I would stop making excuses. Um, in that regard. We do have the devil card here in the upright. So uh, what I am going to say about this with the devil card in the upright, I do feel as though, and that's the card of Capricorn, that you will get this, but I do feel like there's going to be, you are going to be tied to whatever this entity is for a period of time. So I feel as though they're going to say, okay, we're going to give you what you want, but you need to kind of sign off that you're going to uh, be contracted to us for 10 years or something like that. They're trying to uh, make sure that whatever they're going to give you, um, you aren't just going to take it and run, that you're going to be bound to them, that you're kind of chained to them. So, you know, there could be some sort of clause or something like that saying you can't go elsewhere, um, you know, or they renew your contract. So I do think that there's something that they're going to be, com be coming up with to make sure that you stay put. Um, you may not be very comfortable about that. So I think it's going to be uh, kind of like, not necessarily dealing with the devil, but okay, if, if this is what I have to do, um, then this is what I have to do. Um, but it, I'm kind of getting that feeling. They want to make sure that you're chained to your job, so to speak, and that you're not going to leave. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or a live reading. Uh, email, DM me, or text me 646-902-5715. Click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra. That will have your love, career, finances, and health in there. In my playlist, your 2023 sun, moon predictions. 2022s are also in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then look me up on Facebook, Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. 
Otherwise, Pisces, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.